Hello from the Longwood Public Library. Today we'll be talking about the Learning Express Library, a digital collection of test preparation materials and interactive practice exams. If you want to improve your scores on academic, civil service, military, and professional licensing and certification exams, including the PSAT, SAT, TASC, and many more, the Learning Express Library is the right resource for you. We'll show you how to use it. To get to the Learning Express Library, start on our homepage, www.longwoodlibrary.org. Scroll down the page until you reach an area titled Online Classes. Now scroll until you find the Learning Express Library. You'll find it at the bottom of the page under the header Test and Career. Click the logo to be taken to the Learning Express Library homepage. Now we're on the Learning Express Library website. Before you start exploring the homepage, you will want to sign in to your account first. You can access the resources or save your progress without being logged into an account, so it's important to sign in before starting. Click Sign In slash Register in the top right corner of the screen. If you already have an account, you can type in your username and password. If you don't have an account, click Register. Make sure your institution is Longwood Library. Now you can fill out the rest of the form. Just make sure you don't lose your email or password, although if you do, you can click Forgot Password back on the login screen to have your password emailed to you. Now that you have an account, let's talk about the home screen. The home screen is where you can find resources such as tests, tutorials, ebooks, and more. At any point while you are using the Learning Express Library, you can press the home button in the top left corner to return to the screen. The home screen is divided into centers which are collections of resources grouped by subject. For example, the College Admissions Test Preparation Center collects resources related to college tests, such as the SAT, ACT, and AP exams. To see what resources are available in a center, click on it to open a list of categories. Click on the category you are interested in to see the resources they have available. There are three main resource types tutorials, tests, and ebooks. Decide which resource you want and then click any of the links listed to get started. For example, let's say I wanted to take a practice exam. I would look under SAT practice test and then I would choose the specific type of exam I wanted to take. We'll choose reading practice test. Now I can start any of these tests by clicking the link labeled start test. The start button is always available, although it may have a different name depending on which type of material you are accessing. For example, the start button reads start tutorial for tutorials and download ebook for ebooks. Once you click this button, that resource will be saved to your account. We'll talk more about that when we discuss the My Center area of your account. On the home screen, you can also search for resources. For example, let's say I wanted to see what nursing resources the Learning Express Library has. To do this, I would type nursing in the search bar and click enter on my keyboard. Now I can narrow down my search results by clicking on a resource type. For example, test, ebooks, articles, and flashcards are checked. If I only wanted to look at practice tests, I would make sure it's the only one checked by deselecting the other results. That would leave me with only tests. I can click Start Test to begin the exam. Now that we know how to find resources, let's learn how to use them. Tests can be taken digitally or physically. To take a paper version of a test, click Print. Now you can select your printer or save the exam as a PDF. To take the test online, click Start Test. You will receive directions explaining what the test covers and how to answer the questions. At the bottom of the page, you can choose which mode you want. Practice mode will test your knowledge and provide answers at the end, while learner mode will provide answers after each question. If you are approaching the material for the first time, click Learner. If you are already familiar with the material and just want to test your recall, choose Practice. We'll choose practice for this test. Now the test will begin. Some tests are timed and some aren't, but remember, you could always retake a test if you fail. If you are running out of time, click finish later to return to your exam another time or score my test when you are finished to receive a grade. If you're going to choose finish later, remember to save your work or it will not save your progress. Tutorials are courses you can take on the Learning Express Library. 
To begin a tutorial, click Start Tutorial, and you will be taken to the tutorial's course page. On the table of contents, you can also click different lessons to view the syllabus, or skip around the class if you do not want to take it sequentially. Lessons may contain text, images, or videos, and the course page may look very different depending on how the class is structured. When you have finished the tutorial, click Finish Later and click Save to save your progress. To continue your course, go to the My Center area in your account. We'll talk more about this area later in the video. To read an ebook, click Download ebook. The book will immediately start downloading. Ebooks from the Learning Express Library are in PDF format, so you will want to make sure you have a PDF software like Adobe Reader downloaded. To access your account settings and view your progress, click on the arrow next to your name up at the top of the screen. There are three options here My Center, User Settings, and Log Out. My Center is where all of your resources are. There are different boxes focused on resource types, such as tests, tutorials, ebooks, and more. You can choose to delete a resource by clicking the trash can, download it with the download button, or resume it by clicking on the title. Both in progress and completed resources will appear on the list. If you want to export all of the information in your center to a spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel, click Download My Center to download your information in CSV format. User settings allow you to edit any of your user information, such as first name, last name, email address, and password. You can also toggle your language between English and Spanish in the top right corner. When you are finished with your session, click Log Out from the menu and you will be logged out of your account. It's very important to remember to log out of your account if you are on a public computer or a shared device. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions about the Learning Express Library, feel free to give us a call at 631-924-6400, extension 250. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day.